Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at some uh, tips to quickly set up uh, the Daylight node uh, using the Lightwave scene here that is also set up in Lightwave 2020. So I have to say, I've got I've, uh, a good friend of mine, Simon Small, he's kind of my go to person for Octane because I'm obviously new to it. He's, and if you don't know Simon, go and check out Small Animations because uh, the work on there is all Lightwave and Octane and it's amazing. And Simon's going to be doing a talk at the a design event I'm doing called Create Expo on the 24th of Feb in a few weeks. So if you're in the UK or if, you, if you're over in the UK and you can make it, the tickets are free. If, I think there's only about 10 tickets left and it's like uh, 150 per talk people going to be in there so i'll put the links to everything below but what i want to do here is i'm going to do a series of small uh short two tours of how to use different nodes in octane over the next few weeks and simon like i said he's my go-to person in fact he's been sending me short little videos because he's fed up with me messaging him asking him questions but he knows what i'm like i'll just i'm like a dog with a bone i'll just keep bothering him and bothering him but anyway back to the tutorial i've got this scene it's just got it's got like a a, a wolf head bust that i've I can't remember where I got it from. I'm going to provide it. It's, it's something that was free, but I think you can only use it for like, you can't use it for commercial use or anything, but I'll provide it with you and I'll provide this scene. So I've just set it up basically with three different uh, textures that I've got offline and I'll put a link to where I got the textures from as well and a basic HDRI. However, if I go up to Octane, uh, let's enable the plugin. Uh, once you enable it under here, uh, you need to then go to Octane, Octane uh, IPR and turn on uh, the IPR. So when this comes up, uh, you'll notice that it's definitely not the same. So what I want to do is go through a quick way of setting up the daylight node and, or if you, and also if you want to set up a HDRI uh, in Octane. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the render target and open this. And um, we've got this. Now, rather than going through all these different nodes to find the ones that we're going to set up, there's a really easy way of doing this. So you right mouse click on the Octane node, node target, go to node menu and click default setup. And then if we click tidy node. And then you've got this. So like starting at the kind of top, you've got the uh, thin lens uh, node, which is like for depth of field and focus and stuff. You've got your daylight node for changing the actual colour. So if you look at this, you can see the kind of gradient colour, a bit like your sky tracer you get. So you get that colour there. You've got your uh, your imager, which is to do with your exposure and colour correction. You've got your direct uh, kernel. So this is like the lowest pass kind of kernel for quality and stuff. Now you can... Uh, click on here so you can see here look you can actually come in here and play around with the settings and so on and so forth but you can actually uh, if you want to right mouse click on the actual target node and go in here and you can actually uh, you can then switch it for the path tracer which is the higher quality one and move this out of the way and then you can come in and again play with the settings and so on and so forth uh, we've got the post-production, which is to do with your bloom and glare, and then you've got your render passes. So that's how quick you can set it up and stuff. But like I said, if you double-click on the actual uh, environment one, here's your actual colours look. So you can kind of come in here and choose your kind of colours and play around with uh, the settings and come up with the different kind of settings. And then obviously your ground uh, bleed and your ground start angle you can decide on uh the latitude and latitude and you can also decide on what day it is what month it is the time of day as you can see really cool uh like so in here if you want you can come in here so let's say i want to use a hdri let's what let's just come down here Go into the node and let's go to uh, texture environment and then it will unplug this let's move this out of the way we also need an image so we right mouse click on here rather than looking for it and load the image up here look straight away for you let's 
double click and let's load that image up so i've got one here which i'll provide uh, when it comes through it's very it's gamma at 2.1 is reducing to one like so uh, but you can play around with the power and gamma if you want it's up to you and again you've got like the power in here as well you've got the head pitch and base so if i wanted to rotate it like it's just again we can and so on and so forth like so but it's just this is like i said i'm not actually going to do much more than this just wanted to show you how quick you can set this up and go down and then kind of experiment with the settings inside here do you know what i mean and, and for each one you can come down like i said i'm not going to go through the settings have a play around for them but you've got like the maximum diffuse so if you want better quality on here you can change these so maybe you'll put in say i don't know you could put 24 in each so the quality of the samples on that are going and make sure adaptive samplings on i would say as well and again you can play around with this settings as well and so on and remember in here currently the only thing really lighting it is the actual environment light so we need to kind of go and convert or add uh, an octane light maybe an area light a quad light or something and so on so forth but you can come down here look and play around with the noise and so on and so forth and what i might do is look at these in more depth in other tutorials going through what you can kind of do with them thanks for listening check out my next tutorial